September 2024 is packed with brilliant celestial events that you won't want to miss. From the stunning supermoon to conjunctions and the mesmerizing partial lunar eclipse, this month has it all. So grab your telescopes and let's dive into the cosmic calendar. Also be with me until the end of the video for bonus content for this month. This is the Universe Factory and let's talk about major astro events that will take place in September 2024. Before we begin, quickly subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon to get notified with our latest updates. Find us on social media platforms, links to which have been mentioned in the description down below. Don't forget to check out. September 2024 begins with the first conjunction of the month. The moon will pass 5.0 degrees to the north of Mercury at 9.17 UTC as they will appear to be closer to each other. This conjunction will take place in between the constellations of Leo and Cancer but won't be visible to the naked eyes due to the sun's glare. Check out the description where I have mentioned some interesting stargazing apps. These apps will help you easily look at the celestial objects, do try them. The moon will be between the earth and the sun, so the bright side of the moon will be facing away from the earth. The days around the new moon are perfect for stargazing. So stick till the end of the video for bonus content on more about stargazing around the new moon days. The planet Mercury will reach greatest western elongation of 18.1 degrees from the sun on this day. This is the best time to view Mercury since it will be the highest point above the horizon in the morning sky. Look for the planet low in the eastern sky just before the sunrise. On the same day, the moon will pass just 1.1 degree to the south of Venus at 1016 UTC as they will appear to be closer to each other. In addition to this, Venus will go behind the moon on what's called an occultation. This conjunction come occultation will take place in constellation of Virgo but won't be visible to the naked eyes due to the daytime. At 4.27 UTC, the Lord of the Rings Saturn will be at its closest approach to the Earth and its visible face will be completely illuminated by the Sun at a magnitude of 0.6. It will be brighter than at any other time of the year and will be visible throughout the night in the constellation of Aquarius. This is the best time to observe and photograph Saturn and its rings which will be inclined at an angle of 13 degrees. This is almost the maximum inclination they can have so you can clearly observe them. However, even being at its closest approach to the Earth, you can only distinguish Saturn as a star-shaped spot of light with the naked eye. Use a telescope to see the planet along with the ring and hopefully the moons. The next conjunction will be when moon passes at 0.1 degrees to the north of Saturn at 10.21 UTC as they will appear to be closer to each other. In addition to this, Saturn will go behind the moon on what's called an occultation. This conjunction will take place on constellation of Aquarius during the daytime so won't be visible to the naked eyes. The first supermoon of the year, the full moon will be at 2.36 UTC. This full moon will take place when it's unusually near to that time of the month when it's closest to the Earth, the perigee. I mean, it's only 357,581 kilometers away. So the moon will appear slightly larger and brighter than on the other occasions. This month it will be larger than the moon's annual mean size, that's why it is called a supermoon. A partial lunar eclipse occurs when the moon passes through the Earth's partial shadow or penumbra and only a portion of it passes through the darkest shadow or umbra. During this type of eclipse, a part of the moon will darken as it moves through the Earth's shadow. The eclipse will be visible throughout most of the North America, Mexico, Central America, South America, the Atlantic Ocean and most of the Europe and Africa. Check out the link in the description to know more about this partial lunar eclipse. At 008 UTC, Neptune will be at its closest approach to the Earth, its visible face being completely illuminated by the Sun at a magnitude of 
It will be brighter than at any other time of the year, being visible throughout the night. This is the best time to observe and photograph Neptune. However, even being at its closest approach to the Earth, you can only distinguish Neptune as a star-shaped spot of light with the naked eye, so use a telescope to see the planet. September equinox will be at 12.45 UTC, marking the first fall day or fall equinox in the Northern Hemisphere and the first spring day or spring equinox in the Southern Hemisphere. It is the time of the year when the Sun crosses the Earth's equator going from the Northern Hemisphere to the Southern Hemisphere. The Moon will pass 5.5 degrees to the north of Jupiter at 23.22 UTC as they will appear to be closer to each other. Look about the eastern horizon in the constellation of Auriga for the Naked Eye Conjunction. The last conjunction and astro event of the month where the Moon will pass 4.5 degrees to the north of Mars at 11.50 UTC. This conjunction will take place in constellation of Gemini during the daytime so won't be visible. Now as promised, let's jump onto the bonus content. The days around the new moon are perfect for stargazing as I said before. The visibility of the galactic center of the Milky Way in both hemispheres is getting shorter and shorter until it's no longer visible in November. You can also observe the zodiacal light. In the northern hemisphere, it is visible to the east before the morning astronomical twilight in the direction of the sunrise. On the other hand, the southern hemisphere, it is visible to the west at the end of the afternoon astronomical twilight in the direction of the sunset. So there you go with the list of all the major astro events that will take place in September 2024. Comment down your favorite things to do with the night sky. Like and share this video with everyone. Subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so that you won't miss out the latest updates and happenings in the world of astronomy. Meanwhile, watch these suggested videos as well. I'll be back with yet another super interesting video for you soon. Till then, keep looking up.